Have you ever wondered how your car gets the right amount of fuel to run smoothly or what the real difference is between older vehicles and the ones on the road today? Well, a big part of that difference comes down to the way fuel is delivered to the engine. Today we are going to take a closer look at two main systems that do just that the carburetor and fuel injection. So what's the difference between the two? Let's break it down. Let's start with the carburetor. This is the fuel delivery system used in most cars built before the 1980s, essentially. A carburetor is a mechanical device that mixes air and fuel together before sending it into the engine for combustion. It's a pretty straightforward system that relies on simple parts. Here's how it works. As air flows through the carburetor, it passes over a throttle plate that controls how much air enters the engine inside the carburetor. There's something called a float chamber that keeps the fuel at the right level. The suction from the air creates a vacuum that pulls fuel into the air stream and this mixture is then sent to the engine. While carburetors are relatively simple and reliable, they aren't very precise. This means that they can waste fuel because they can't adjust the air fuel mixture as accurately as modern systems. As a result, older cars with carburetors tend to have lower fuel efficiency and higher emissions. Now, Let's move on to fuel injection. This system has replaced the carburetor in most modern vehicles and it's easy to see why. Fuel injection is an electronic system that delivers fuel directly into the engine in a much more controlled and precise way. The fuel injectors are controlled by the car's engine control unit or ECU which adjusts the fuel delivery based on inputs from various sensors throughout the vehicle. The injectors spray fuel directly into the combustion chamber or intake manifold depending on the type of system. The ECU constantly makes adjustments to ensure that the engine gets the perfect mix of air and fuel. Depending on the driving conditions, this precision is what helps modern cars run so efficiently. So what's the real difference between a carburetor and fuel injection? The biggest difference is the level of precision. Fuel injection is much more accurate at regulating the air fuel mixture, which means better fuel efficiency and more power. The ECU's constant adjustments ensure that fuel is used more effectively whether you're driving on the highway or idling at a stoplight. In terms of fuel efficiency, carburetors tend to waste more fuel because they can't adjust in real time. This is why cars with carburetors often have worse mileage. Fuel injection, on the other hand, makes sure that only the exact amount of fuel needed gets used which means fewer stops at the gas station. Another key difference is emissions. Because fuel injection is so precise, it helps reduce harmful emissions. Carburetors in comparison tend to release more pollutants because they can't regulate the mixture as effectively. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of each system. First, carburetors. The main advantages are that they're simple, inexpensive and relatively easy to repair, especially in older vehicles. However, they don't perform as efficiently as fuel injection systems. They waste more fuel, produce higher emissions and need regular adjustments to stay in top shape. On the other hand, fuel injection systems have a lot of benefits. They are far more efficient which means better fuel economy and lower emissions. They also provide smoother performance and require less maintenance over time. The downside is that they are more complex and if something goes wrong, repairs can be costly. Thanks for watching. So which system do you prefer? Do you enjoy the simplicity of carburetors or do you prefer the high tech precision of fuel injection? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more car tech breakdowns.